Shalom, Shalom, Israel, coming back at you with another lesson. Lord willing, this is edifying. First off, giving all praise, all honor, all glories to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elder bishops of Great Millstone and all the teachers out there pushing this word in truth, the truth and sincerity, especially in our risk of your lives to do so. May you be the elect. Shalom to all the Akim and the Akwaf out there listening and learning. You Israelites, so called Negroes, Hispanic, Native, and Seminole Indians who are the true children of Israel, as well as you speckled bird, Israelite foreigners, the Israelites that look like, act like, and take on the customs of all these heathen nations. So to you, I say Shalom. This lesson is brought to you by the spirit and the power of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Yahweh being the true name of our fathers, the God of the Bible, the God of the Israelites, by Hashem meaning in the name, and Yahweh Shai being the only begotten son of Yahweh, who the world is be called by the name of J.C., all right, and this lesson is inspired by these coming days, all right, uh, namely, per se, the persecutions, all right, it just says it would be in the world, the same thing being in this truth, man, you're going to have people that's just going to come against you, all right, the ops, as they say, all right, how much more so being in the truth, all right, and getting closer to the end, you know, you know how he rules, all right, and how he operates, He's going to have people going to, going against each other, right? Rather it be threats or promises or, or gifts, you know? Uh, so this lesson was inspired by these, these thoughts, these possibilities, right? Things that will, you know, occur, you know, over time for, for, for various peoples at various times, right? So the lesson is don't switch up for nobody, right? Basically... For those that's in the in the truth, all right, and those days come when you might get threatened, all right, because there's many accounts where where you know those that are opposed to Yahweh Shai and the Israelites in general will threaten, all right, do this or or this is gonna happen, you know. Well, this is <laughs> this is not gonna be any different than uh, past times, right? There's nothing new under the sun. All right, and the Lord changed not. Whatever he wants to happen is going to happen. And he's done it many, many times before. All right? So when these times come, you got to you gotta keep your, your wits about you, man. You got to keep your balls uh, wired tight, man. All right? So this lesson is don't switch up for nobody. Jude 1 and 4. For there are certain men crept in unawares who were before of old ordained. To this condemnation. You see that? So two things right there. It said for there are certain men crept in unaware. So you might have somebody that may seem like a brother. Right? He's brotherly on the outside. But when that time shall come. When, when things go south. He's not going to be a brother. Alright? He's going to be he's gonna be an, em, an enemy. Okay? For there are certain men crept in unaware. Who were before of old ordained to this condemnation see that so that's that right there showing you that the lord has those that are uh preordained to be uh pastors or pastors um prophets right to to teach those to be of the elect and then those that to be uh contrary to the word to be enemies enemies of the cross right who were before of old ordained to this condemnation all right, the first one you should already think about, right, as far as uh, a, a crept in unaware type situation, Judas Iscariot. All right, he was supposed to be a brother, but look what happened in the end. All right, he wasn't a brother. He seemed like a brother, but, you know, but he, that that's the thing, the whole, that's the whole thing about it. Yahweh Shai knew, because he handpicked all of his disciples, all right? He knew about Judas. But he also knew he also knew his lot. Yahweh Shai also knew his lot. Right? Then he picked Judas Iscariot for that. Okay? But nonetheless, that can happen in the truth as well. Okay? For certain for there are certain men crept in unawares who were before of old ordained to this condemnation, ungodly men, turning the grace of our power into lasciviousness. Right, like a debauchery, just saying, oh, you could just do whatever you want. We could do whatever we want. All right? 
and denying the only Lord power and our Lord Yahweh Mashiach. They don't believe. Because, look, if they truly believed, they wouldn't have had it in their heart to, to, to have guile, to have um, uh, no reverence to Yahweh Shemuel Shai, to have no uh, uh, respect unto the prophets, all right, who basically are the mouthpiece of Yahweh Shemuel Shai, all right, and the hopeful elects, the hopeful first fruits. If they had respect and any any love at all towards Yahweh Shai, they wouldn't they wouldn't do these things. They wouldn't even it wouldn't even come across their mind to do such a thing, all right? But if it does come across a, a person's mind, hey, the Lord made it to be that way for one, and then two, hey, that person wanted to uh to go off. That person wanted to 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 deceive uh, a a righteous man. That person was wicked from the jump. Okay. Ecclesiastes, also known as Sirach, chapter 6, start at verse 7. It says, If thou wouldest get a friend, prove him first and be not hasty to credit him. Right? Because you might meet somebody, y'all might be, you know, hitting it off right off the bat. You know, man, everything he's saying, you know, I can relate. We got a lot of things in common. This brother seemed cool. Yeah, well, okay, this. It's just like getting in a relationship with a female. Shit might be seen cool in the beginning. But let the dust settle. Then you see the true colors. Right? That's why back in the day, they had a thing as far as like dating, a thing called courting. Right? Y'all, you know, went on some dates or whatever the case may be. With no touching, with no kissing, none of that nonsense. You just get to know each other. When you, If y'all feel like y'all can really want to get to know each other after a time, then, you know, now y'all really hook up. You know, now you start really dating, but courting was just, you know, just get to get to know the person. Okay, they're, they're cool. I want to take this a step further. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they, they, over time, that just got diminished <laughs> to the point where it was non-existent. All right, bitches smash on the first day. You know what I'm saying? You just go hop in a DM that that, that one and that one and only time, and bitch ready to go. But nonetheless. All right, it's gonna be the same thing, uh, as far as being in the truth, all right, or, or during uh the, the 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 thick in the end the tail end of Jacob's trouble, you might have somebody that seemed cool, you know the names Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, and 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 probably know a couple brothers' names and you know maybe even know some precepts. All right, that's all fine and good, but you gotta test every spirit. Thing can always be seem cool in the beginning, but you gotta test. You gotta test spirits, man. All right. If thou wouldst get a friend, prove him first. Prove that he's a friend first, and be not hasty to credit him. Don't don't be so quick to be like, oh yeah yeah he cool he cool let him in. He good. I remember him from back in the day. Fuck that. All right. Verse eight for. For some man is a friend for his own occasion, see, and will not abide in the day of thy trouble. All right? That's why the scriptures say uh, a friend is known in the in adversity. Everybody, everybody, your friend when things are up, All right? Everybody, your friend when you win a lotto, right? You got all this money. You got motherfuckers coming from out the woodworks. Man, cuz remember me from back in the day? Man, we ain't kicked in in a long time. I miss you, cuz. Right or, or so called friends and associates. Everybody, you, everybody, your people. When things are up, go ahead and lose all that money. Go ahead and lose your house in a fire or some shit like that. Them same ones that say, "Hey man, call me if you ever need anything." Now here's your chance. You need some. Where the fuck they at? Oh man, I was busy. <laughs> My grandma said, "You see, a friend is known in adversity." A friend is gonna be known when when you know when you really down and they, they stick by your side, man. Alright? That's why it says again, verse 8, it says, For some men is a is a friend for his own occasion and will not abide in the day of thy trouble. See? All the more reason why you must prove someone. Just cause shit seem cool right now, that don't mean a damn thing. You gotta that's why all the scripture also says to know thy brother. 
You got to know your brothers, man. You got to know who truly down for Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, and this brotherhood, man. All right? Because anybody can, right now can say, yeah, it's all, we cool, I'm good with everybody, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, when the shit go down, when, when a brother really truly needs some help, show it. Are you really your brother? Show it. Prove it. All right? Don't switch up for nobody. This is Sirach. Again, also known as uh, Salak Ecclesiastes, also known as Sirach, chapter 7, verse 18. It says, change not a friend for any good by no means. Motherfucker try to prevent, uh, present you with some, 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 you know, dainties or, or some food or some water, right? And in the days you, you going all, all out, right? You ain't got no food. You ain't got no water. You just trusting on your, how about your own shot to come through with something, right? Now you got this motherfucker waving this shit in your face for you to give up a brother, man. A give up a brother location. Give up any brother's location, man. All right? Uh, 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 to denounce you. How about you? Hey, man, don't change for nobody, man. Because these things will happen. See, you got to already put it in your mind of, of different scenarios, different possibilities. All right? You got to already be painting these things in your mind. Because they will happen. It may not happen to you. It may not happen to the brother to the left or to the right of you. But it's going to happen to somebody. It might be somebody that you know. And you got to, that's another thing. You got to put it in your mind, especially being in the truth, if you're a man of the Lord, that your family will turn on you. Your family going to turn you over to the authorities. Yeah, he was talking about that Israel like this and Israel like that. Talking about some Yahweh and Yahweh shy. Yeah. You're going to have to put that in your mind that that's, that will happen. Now what you're going to do? You're going to switch up? Or you're going to hold fast for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai? Are you going to stand boldly and stiffly for the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai? Are you going to hazard, continue to hazard your life for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and your brother? Or are you going to switch up like a bitch? Okay? Don't change for nobody. Again, Ecclesiastes. Chapter 7, verse 18, it says, Change not a friend for any good by no means, neither a faithful brother for the gold of Ophir. And Ophir goes to uh, reduce to ashes. That's exactly what's going to be happening to America. It's going to be reduced to ashes. Okay? So what a motherfucker waving shit in your face. A, 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 a brand new Roly. A, a brand new Lambo. Whatever the case may be, man. Uh, uh, I'll give you the keys to this mansion if you give up... If you give up the, the, the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai and tell, tell us where your brother at, leave all this behind and you can have all this. Fuck all that, man. Hey, hey, today the grass is tomorrow an oven. Best believe that, man. This place is temporary. So is all the bullshit in it. Nigga can't see past his own damn nose. Talking about he rich. Nigga only got $1,000 back from taxes. Shut up, nigga. All right? Don't switch up for nobody, man. Stay true to your how about Shai. Proverbs 17, 23. A wicked man taketh a gift out of the bosom to pervert the ways of judgment. See that? That's what a wicked nigga do. Uh, what is that? Ecclesiastes 7 and 7. Surely oppression make a wise man mad, but a gift destroyed the heart. Look at, look at all these celebrities, man. A lot of these celebrities, they know they Israelites. They know the Negroes, Hispanic, Native, Assimilar Indians are God's people. All right? Yahweh, Hashim, Yahweh, Shai's people. They know this. And look, look what happened to, um, um, what's that nigga name? Kanye West. Uh, uh, Amar Stutamar. Whatever the fuck his name is. Uh, uh, who else? Uh, Tiffany Haddish. Ice Cube. All these niggas know. They know they Israelites. A lot of them, all these celebrities know this. They know, all know by now. But because they handle her, continuously giving them money, they turn a blind eye. You see? And that's the same thing with the, in, the, in these type of situations that can happen. A wicked man taketh the gift out of the bosom to per, per, pervert the ways of judgment. He'll do that. Because he's got guile. He's got a mischievous uh, lifestyle. Okay? 
He's not upright. All the more reason to do what? Try a friend before you prove him. Right? Try that motherfucker, man. He cool right now. Put him in a situation and see if he'll really be there for you. See? Ecclesiastes, again, Sirach 6 and 14. A faithful friend is a strong defense. And he that hath found such as one hath found a treasure. You ain't going to find that in the world. I don't give a damn who you go to, what they got. If they not in this truth, and they not truly, sincerely dealing with Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, the Lord ain't dealing with them. Mm -hmm. Whoever the fuck they are, whoever they claim to be, they ain't, they ain't the people. They ain't nobody to be around. They ain't nobody you want to have around in them days. You want to have a, a faithful friend. Who is that? A man of the Lord. Okay? Someone that, that's really going to be there as a friend. Because it's all under, under the, the, the banner of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. A faithful friend is a strong defense. And he that hath found such as one hath found a treasure. Brothers are going to be glad in that day to, to be around other brothers in that day. I pray every day that the Lord allow me to, to be around brothers in them days, man. You know? But hey, if I got to go solo, hey, that's that's my lot. The Lord knows how much faith he has given to each and every one of us. What we can handle and what we can't handle. He said that in the scriptures. He ain't going to give you more than you can handle, man. And he'll find a way for you to escape. You just got to trust in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai and don't lean on your own understanding. There's going to be a way that seems right to you and the end thereof is death. If you ain't leaning on Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, you are ye of little faith, if any at all. And that means you, you wasn't truly dealing because you that obviously you weren't grounded. You were not rooted in, the, in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. And you probably be that nigga that sell up, sell up the brotherhood. Denounce Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. And if you ended up being one of them, hey man, you know, you know what's coming to you. You heard it here, you heard it all, you heard it before, many times before. Scripture says it's better for uh, for that nigga to hang a millstone around his neck. Go, hang, go throw himself in the water, man. Have that big weight around your neck, go drown yourself. You would better have done that to put one of his little ones in harm. Weak Proverb 18 and 24 It says a man that hath friends Must show himself friendly And there is a friend That sticketh closer Than a brother Cause there's a lot of us You know in this truth We brothers man You know But there's some that are Stick closer Than any other brother Right And Lord willing for those that are the, the brothers that are uh, uh, tight like that, hey, I pray y'all, Bashim Yahweh Shai, allow you brothers to be still together during them times, man. You know? But that's pretty much it, man. You know? Don't change up for nobody, man. Because sometimes it's coming. You're going to have to hold fast to that which is good. You're going to have to keep your integrity, man. All right, because this world is about to get turned right the fuck upside down, and these people are going to be caught off guard, and they're going to be looking for answers, and because they ain't going to find answers, they're going to be more panicked, and it's just going to be all out of chaos, man. Ordo ab KO. Order out of chaos. That's what's coming, man. All right, so all these two-third turds in the world, hey, let them let them alone, man. Let the, let, let the birds flock together of their kind, man. Right? Pray the Lord allow us to find each other in that day. Faithful friends. And not changing up for nobody. Lord willing to satisfy and giving all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Kakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elder bishops of Great Millstone. And all the teachers out there pushing the word in truth, with truth and sincerity, especially now versus your lives to do so. May you be of the elect. Stay prayed up, repent, and a Baba ball. Kwame Yahshua, Shalom.